Welcome back to Between Bells. Before you ditch those old pair of jeans, you may want to recycle them instead. Thanks to a new Madewell initiative, doing so can save you some money. The clothing company is launching Madewell Forever, a shopping platform dedicated to pre-loved denim, and it's powered by online thrift retailer ThreadUp. The platform kicking off with more than 3,000 styles, ranging in price from 30 to 50 bucks. Joining us now, Liz Hirschfield, Senior Vice President and Head of Sustainability at J. Crew Group. Liz, welcome. So explain how this new resale program works and how is it different from the past initiatives? Um, so we're so excited to launch Madewell Forever today. Um, so the resale program actually is really kind of piggybacking on our already established recycling program that we launched in 2014 uh, called Blue Jeans Go Green. Um, so Madewell Forever is really just an extension of that. Uh, a customer can come in and bring any pair of old jeans, Madewell or any other brand, and trade that in for a $20 credit towards a new pair. Uh, those jeans will then be sent to ThreadUp and ThreadUp will go through them and decide what's appropriate for resale, um, which is really the key uh, principle here and really important because we're so excited about the fact that we've already recycled over a million pairs of jeans since 2014, but the resale aspect extends the life. So ThreadUp's going to determine what we'll sell on the website and the rest will still go to support our recycling program where we insulate houses um, in partnership with Habitat for Humanity. Over a million pair of jeans, that's incredible. So yeah. I'm hearing Madewell Forever for now is just involved Involving women's denim. Why start there and plant, do you plan to extend into other clothing items? Yeah, you know, we wanted to, obviously, this is a pilot program. We wanted to test it, see how it went. We absolutely um, will be expanding the program based on um, our learnings for sure. We're really excited to do that. What first sparked this partnership with ThreadUp that is so popular in its own right? So, you know, we actually launched a pilot program in our stores with ThreadUp in 2019 uh, with pre-loved Madewell jeans. And that was really our first foray into resale. We wanted to really see how it went. Um, and we wanted to, you know, test the waters. Obviously our customer, um, they're big thrifters. We know that the Gen Z customer is our big thrifters. And so that was really, this was really just um, the extension of that to offer it online um, really allows us to make a much larger impact. You actually teed me up for my next question, Liz. Why do you think Gen Z and these younger consumers are moving towards this trend of prioritizing secondhand clothing. You know, I think the Gen Z community is just so focused on the environment and climate change and how important it is to really um, think about circularity, um, you know, stopping to just buying things and discarding them and really thinking about, you know, buying, um, using, recycling, reusing. So I think that, you know, Gen Z, is just, Gen Z is just really focused on the environment. I think that's why it's such a huge um, piece of our industry. Do you think we'll continue to see this trend with sustainability from other clothing companies? I hope so. Um, you know, we're really excited um, here to launch um, in partnership with ThreadUp. Um, it's the, this first foray uh, for ThreadUp and this, you know, resale as a service. And so our hope is that we can inspire other brands to join us on this circularity journey because it really is critical um, to reducing our impact across the industry. What is the ultimate end goal, Liz, that you're hoping to reach by participating in this resale program? You know, we want to be able to obviously, um, in, you know, make a positive impact on the environment and really extend the life of our product. You know, we have amazing quality jeans. They're premium quality, not at premium price. There's no reason they shouldn't have a second, third and fourth life. Um, so the real focus here is sustainability. And, you know, we're excited to offer um, resale, you know, at that price point of, you know, 35 to $50 um, to really, you know, uh, bring in a new customer that perhaps isn't shopping made well currently. So I'm doing a little research on your company, especially the Madewell Archive program. And according to this, the brand has diverted 550 tons of textile waste from landfills. That's pretty incredible, saving 1.6 million liters of water. Did you expect, expect this initiative to do so well and be so successful when you guys first started it? I, you know, we launched the recycling program in 2014, and I think it was just out of a commitment to circularity and really being responsible um, and how we how we made well think about our genes. Um, and no, I don't think anyone ever thought that it would you know be as um, you know successful as it has been. And it's been really exciting to see it. And with that, as you mentioned, all the data there. Our goal um, with resale is actually to collect 1 million pairs of jeans by 2023, um, which when um, you think about our recycling program, it took us six years to get there. So we have really aggressive goals and are excited to impact the environment positively. Oh yeah, it's a fraction of the time than the previous goal. I have to ask, yeah. what are you hearing from your stores and of course the customers coming in? 
look, um, we know our customer wants this. We are really connected with our customer. We have a group chat with thousands of our customers who are really, um, they're thrifters, they're really excited. From a store level, it's a great experience to be able to come in and shop pre-owned um, and pre-loved jeans in the store environment. Um, you can you know, you know, pick up a couple other things with it or you can just walk away with your pre-loved jeans. Yeah, there's nothing like a good pair of jeans. Liz Hirschfield, Senior Vice President and Head of Sustainability at J. Crew Group. Always appreciate your time, Liz. Thank you so much.